Are you having fun with Smash? Sometimes we're so focused on winning that we lose sight that it's just a video game and we should be able to compete and have fun and enjoy ourselves with the game as well. So I went around and asked a couple of people their thoughts on if they were also having fun playing Smash. So I'm here with Ralphie, Dea, or well, Hoover, Stelia from Treasure Coast. Treasure Coast, okay, cool. It looked like you had to think about that for a second. Where am I from? <laughs> Angel. It's Angel. both my tag and my name. Put some bass in your voice. Project it. Rivers. <laughs> well, I mean, I kind of changed my tag. Perp. Okay, just perp. Vicky Kitty. All right. Nice little wave. I want to wave. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you some questions today on having fun playing Smash. Now, when you're in the middle of getting hit with a bail combo, or you just got witch time, or Fox Fair footstools. I know that can be frustrating, it can be disappointing being a competitive player and not placing the way that you want to place. As a competitive player, are you actually having fun with the game? Well, actually, yes, I actually do enjoy it, because honestly, well, I do play Diddy Kong, so for me, I actually enjoy all those broken things, you know, as part of the game. Like, we're here to have fun, we learn, like, Nothing's unbeatable. Nothing you can get out of anything. You can get out of Bale's up B. You can get out of being grabbed by Diddy. You can get out of Fox's fair footstool. There's different things that you can do to get out of it. And it's enjoyable by taking the time to actually learn these things. At first I wasn't having fun because I was so caught up in wanting to win. But over time I I found out that like, you know, you get to travel around, you get to meet new people. So over time I did start seeing it in a different way, as in like meeting all these people and then traveling and I just started having I actually started having fun I did okay. actually so that's recently. Mm -hmm. yes as for me personally it was actually the exact opposite um, I started having fun when I started like joining in the scene and getting to know everyone and then as I started becoming more competitive I started losing sight of like what essentially smash was it was you know supposed to be a fun game for me and um, I traveled around a lot I would get frustrated a lot but slowly I'm starting to realize that Hey, it's at the end of the at the end of the day, it's just a game, and I'm having fun with my friends, and I'm meeting a lot of people, traveling everywhere. So, for me, Smash is really fun at the end of the day. And you're even traveling today. You're, yeah. Because you're from Orlando. Yeah, right? I'm from South Orlando. Florida. Yeah, CFL. Are you having fun with Smash? I very much am. Okay. Cool. Short, sweet, concise. I very much am. Well, this question actually needs a little bit of elaboration because okay. I wouldn't be doing this if I wasn't having fun. But I would say. I like melee better, and this is going to sound kind of cocky, but I didn't want to compete in melee because like, the ceiling was way too high. I feel like I could do better in Smash 4. And the character I main in melee is Link. So you're saying you have more fun with melee? Melee instead of Smash 4. But Smash 4, uh, I don't think I would be playing the game if Korn wasn't a thing. I very much enjoy Korn. He's my favorite character in the game. I I've never played a Fire Emblem game, but Korn's uh, skill set is fun, yeah. So, I would say, like 90% of the time, I'm not having fun in Smash 4. I'm focusing on winning. Winning is very fun. Are you actually having fun with Smash? Uh, I mean... It oh, I am having fun with Smash. Yes, I, I am really, only because a lot of the times um, when something happens in the game and it costs me the entire game per se, I'm upset, but it helps me intake it as like a learning experience. So, it helps me grow mentally in a way because it's making me use my brain around what's happening in front of me and it, it, it's resulting in my own decisions. Okay, okay. So it, it makes me think about things in a different way because you can apply that into like real life situations. Like for example, if you're driving a car and you see a car ease their way without using their signal in the lane, you're just kind of thinking to yourself, he wants to go in this lane. Then like two seconds later, they get in that lane. Like, you yeah, know, oh, I saw okay, that, yeah. it's like the reads. I saw that happening in real life, but... <laughs> real life reads, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's a video game. I would assume that I'm trying to do this for fun, but yes, I am playing this for fun. I am also trying to play competitively at the same time. It's just playing in a competitive nature is fun for me, I guess, oh. is a little bit of like my answer. Okay, okay. And the reason why I ask that, because a lot of people who are actually playing competitively, they lose sight of that it's just a video game and they're so focused on winning that they don't actually have fun. But yeah. you, co competition is actually fun. Yeah. Um, that's kind of similar with me too as well. 
my next question for you guys is this. What could you do to actually have more fun with Smash? I find that, that it's kind of easy to answer for me because it's, it's more like take it easy, I think. If you're, getting, if you're getting caught up how I was when I first started playing competitively with like wanting to win or like don't, not wanting to go 0-2, it, it was kind of frustrating. But once I started like calming down, like taking a deep breath and then like learning from my mistakes rather than getting upset, it helped me kind of have more fun. It helped okay. me like just relax about it. So more so a mindset thing. Exactly, it's yeah. Like, as long as you got your mindset yeah, right, it's fun. then now you're starting to get improved and join the Exactly. Okay, okay, that makes sense. What could you do to have more fun? Win all the time. <laughs> that would be fun. Why, well, more or less, I think like you can't have that concept of thinking, oh, I'm gonna come here, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and win the whole tournament, and feel because you know most of the time it might backfire on us and then we might take it wrong. So we just come in with like a confidence and feeling like, oh man, I'm gonna have fun today. Um, even if I don't win, let me play some friendlies, let me enjoy it, uh, meet new people and stuff. Um, you'll have a lot more, in, you'll enjoy playing Smash 4. So, winning equals fun for you? Yeah. When it comes to Smash 4, I, I, when I play Melee, even friendlies and stuff, I very much enjoy like every second of it, but Smash 4, it's more like a grind. Okay, okay. Yeah, and I also agree with him with the whole, like, you need to take it easy, take a deep breath, just chill, it's just a game. Um, I would also really appreciate like to have more fun with the game, like more tournaments like Smash the Record. You know, you have those uh, fun tournaments like yes. the Game and Watch, like RNG, and then the Invisible like um, tournament. I thought those were really fun. I'm really sad that I didn't get to go, but seeing like more tournaments like that, I feel like would help people like have more fun with the game instead of like being so serious all the time and being competitive. Okay. So a lot more like side tournaments, low yeah. tiers. Low just, tiers. Things just to enjoy yourself, not yeah. so competitive wise. Yeah. Okay. For me, it really is just it comes down to what characters I play. A lot of people tell me that I'm like a pretty solid player and they think I could do better if I played a better character because my main is Ike. Ike is seen as a very uh, mid to low tier character, not very good. There is so, there's only so far you can go with the character, but I personally have fun with the character because I, I really like playing mind games, I really like reading my opponent, and Ike just does that so well. What can we do as a competitive community to have more fun with the game? Um, well, regarding mindset, I feel like that really is what instills in someone's head if they want to place better, how should I go about it? Are you playing to win necessarily? Are you playing to learn? That's how I, I feel like it is. And I, I feel like that's the, a really common misconception with people, especially competitors, because they want to play to win. They don't want to lose. No one ever plays a competition just to lose. And why did you put money into it? You know, like that's essentially you're just giving away money. So I feel like as competitors, a way for all of us to have fun is changing your mindset. Awesome. Please, to have more fun, don't just always focus on the competitive side. Okay. You want to take a minute to like enjoy the game. You know, maybe with a group of friends, have fun. You can you can go free for all. You can do with items. Just enjoy yourself. Oh. You can't just always be practicing 24/7 because if you do that, you're gonna stale yourself. Mm -hmm. You're gonna lose interest in the game. Like if you just go home and you're labbing for two, three hours, doing that, doing nothing else but that. Your focus of the game is just going to be like a chore. That, why am I coming to tournaments? Just to win? Just to beat people? No. No, you want to come to enjoy yourself. You meet new people. You're having a good time. You're actually enjoying the environment. Okay. You learn, it's also, I think, one of the best things about Smash, you also learn to interact with people. Mm. So just staying at home, practicing by yourself, or practicing with one single person, just to win, what's that going to do for you? Yeah. Honestly, you're going to become sour. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I actually like that. Okay. Those were their answers, now I want yours. Are you actually having fun playing Smash? Why or why not? Let me know in the comment section below. And if you actually liked this video, then leave it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this one, then go ahead and subscribe. I'm Uroy, 